Right, this is Buckcombe Church. I think it's St Michael and All Hallows or All Angels, something like that. It's in a beautiful setting. Some very kind ladies just giving me some water, some fresh water for my bottle, so I had to fill up at Redhill, but the, it was out of a house pipe. Anyway, here's Buckcombe. Oh, I'm trying to get here before. See it not it ain't always open up. I, I got here before um the battery goes flat. It's got lights as well. The parish of Buckcombe. It's a beautiful holy road screen there, look beautifully carved. The view to the altar. Beautiful stained glass window there. Oh. Oh. Come up to the altar a minute. Oh. I'm very breathless because I've had to climb up some very steep hills with the bike. Very steep hills. This is beautiful. <laughs> Lovely carpet as well. Look at this sanctus embroidered cover for the altar. A beautiful little piscina as well. Some beautiful pictures of Jesus on the donkey. And some flowers. Place there. Not quite sure what you call that. Oh, I'm so glad to have got here because I was I'd made an error, ended up at Blagden. I'm not. I've done Blagden photographs before, but I wanted to do Buckcombe today. I wanted to achieve Buckcombe, so I turned back and I had to go up some massive hills. Oh, it's worth it. Pray for the souls of John Rogers Cartwright, the Lieutenant Colonel, the Devonshire Regiment, member of the Distinguished Service Order, elder son of Arthur Rogers Cartwright, rector of this parish, 1877 to 1819, born the 6th of January 1882, and of Isabella, his wife, and younger daughter, younger daughter of George Edward Albert Ross, King's Council. Both killed by enemy action at Seton, Devon, 26 October 1942. Once again, some lovely embroidered um, kneeling cushions for praying. A little font there. Very small, isn't it? Very small indeed, that is. Oh, and if they've got any leaflets. Of course, they have got a reading board. St. Michael and All Angels, Buckcombe. It's mentioned in the village of Buckcombe in the Doomsday Book. Yeah, I haven't got my glasses. I'm wor more worried about getting the video done than reading anything at the moment because um, because the um, the video might it might go. See, and that's all about gifts to the parish. A W.H. Marshall Esquire gave four cottages and land adjoining the use of the school to be called Marshall School. People often donated. We've got people in in my family that done the same at Dulham. Dacca. 
All right, there's a gent, Richard Pla Pla Plaster, or Plaster, who died 1756, aged 63, and three of his children by Elizabeth, his wife. <sighs> oh, look, I found a Hassel. The Reverend R.P. Hassel, rector of this parish, who died July the 28th, 1836, aged 40. Could be a, it could be a relation, this. Also in memory of Charlotte, relic of the Reverend R. P. Hassel, <coughs> who died the 17th of February, 1841, aged 40. Well, that's really interesting, isn't it? I was just saying about Del Delmaine up in um, Cumberland, with the Hassels that have got their church with their memorials. And some of the Hassels were, were vicars and priests and things. Godfrey Geoffrey Fairbank, Lieutenant RFC, eldest son of Godfrey and Cecil Fairbank of Oldwick Court, who fell in aerial battle near Pyrrhon, France, 1916, during the Battle of the Somme. The cross in the churchyard was restored in his memory. Eternal rest given unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Well, that's good, isn't it? So there's some a fur bank, and that's that big mansion I saw, I think. It's a nice figurine, isn't it, of the Virgin Mary there? Really good, isn't it? Just go around the churchyard a minute. So that was restored in the memory of the Fairbank bloke who died at the Battle of the Somme. What I'll do, I'll do my little video outside now. Beautiful view up here, look. St. Michael and all angels. Somebody's little house behind there. A few Tisdall graves. Doris, Krista and John. They all died. Oh, those two were born in 1936, so maybe they were twins. That could have been the mum and John Dennis Tisdall. Parents, Doris May. on the video as I can. That's pretty, isn't it? Those roses. I remember having some of those on when they lived in Reading. Climbers. So here we go, the lovely little church, look. Right, I'm going to do... I'm going to take some pictures now. Hold on, I've run out everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 